Hello. Whew. Digging is really hard work. Hello, Doris. That's Doris the duck. Would you like to help me with some digging? You don't look very busy. I wish she could dig. Then she could help me. Oh, listen. It's the house. There must be a story to tell. Step inside all those who love stories. Look and listen with tales to tell of fun, excitement, magic, adventure, tears, fears and laughter. Surprises as well. Step inside. Hello. Oh, Mr. Mopple, you're just the person I need. There's a duster here, dear. Would you dust me, please? Well, I offered to dust her. No, but I can't quite reach from here. No, you're too far away, Boris. Would you like me to move you closer to him, Chloe? Oh, no, dear. No need, thank you. Besides, Twinkle usually dusts me. Where is Twinkle? He's doing the washing up. <laughs> As you can hear. So, have you got a story for me today, Boris? Oh, yes. I have. Let me see if I can find it. Hello, Mr. Mobble. I've been washing up and I only broke three plates today. Found it! Found what, Boris? The story. Oh, good. Are we having a story? Stand back, Mr. Mobble! Thank you, Boris. What's it called? It's called Farmer Duck. There once was a duck who had the bad luck to live with a lazy farmer. The duck did the work. The farmer stayed all day in bed. The duck fetched the cow from the field. How goes the work? called the farmer. The duck answered, Quack. The duck brought the sheep from the hill. How goes the work? called the farmer. The duck answered, Quack. The duck put the hens in their house. How goes the work? called the farmer. The duck answered, Quack. The farmer got fat through staying in bed and the poor duck got fed up with working all day. How goes the work? Quack. 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 The poor duck was sleepy and weepy and tired. The hens and the cow and the sheep got very upset. They loved the duck, so they held a meeting under the moon and they made a plan for the morning. Moo! Moo, moo, moo! said the cow. Ba, 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 ba! said the sheep. said the hens. And that was the plan. What was the plan? We'll find out in a minute. It was just before dawn and the farmyard was still. Through the back door and into the house crept the cow and the sheep and the hens. Ever so quietly. They stole down the hall. They creaked up the stairs. 
They squeezed under the bed of the farmer and wriggled about. The bed started to rock and the farmer woke up and he called, How goes the work? And... Moo! They lifted his bed and he started to shout and they banged and they bounced the old farmer about and about and about right out of the bed. And he fled with the cow and the sheep and the hens mooing and baaing and clucking around him. Down the lane, moo! Through the fields, baaah! Over the hill, and he never came back. That was the plan. The duck awoke and waddled wearily into the yard, expecting to hear, How goes the work? But nobody spoke. Cos he's not there anymore. Then the cow and the sheep and the hens came back. Quack! asked the duck. Moo! Moo, 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 moo! said the cow. Ba, 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 ba! said the sheep. said the hens, which told the duck the whole story. Then, mooing and bawing and clucking and quacking, they all set to work on their farm. The farmer was cruel, wasn't he? Yes, that's why the animals chased him away. Then they all shared the work. So the duck wasn't tired anymore. He was much happier. Mr Mopple, there's some food in that tin on Boris's top shelf. It's for Doris the duck. Oh, thank you, Chloe. I shall go and feed her straight away. <laughs> I wondered why I got a tin on my head. <laughs> well, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, dear. Thank you for reading the story. I've got a present for you, Doris, from Chloe. Are you sure you don't want to help me with the digging? No, perhaps not. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>